What's up, guys? Duke of Hayes here. Thank you once again for allowing me in your homes. Today is Saturday, February 4th, 2023. We're continuing on with Persona 4 Golden. Um, today's kind of a slow day. I'm feeling a little, like, uh, lacking in energy, um, which is not um, off-brand for me. But um, today, the brain fog has settled in pretty deep and you know just like in persona i have to hurry up and rescue myself from the dungeon before my brain just uh, collapses in on itself but uh i took two days off not for mental health reasons but because i was actually writing up a persona list like um a lot of the fun for me in this game is uh crafting personas and coming up with new personas to add to my party add to my team so i spent like two days just like researching like all the personas i was planning on using and that took forever but um i'm done uh just a warning i was you know sometimes like i get into the intros too much but um there's probably going to be a lot of grinding today just because i have a lot of personas i got to go through and skills i need to get on those dudes so i'm gonna be spending a good chunk of time doing that i think we're still in the tv world so i think that's where we left off so i think we're going to be doing a lot of that so if grinding if long ass persona grind sessions are not your thing if you're watching on youtube this might be where you skip a couple of episodes um but if you just want to chill and hang out while I play some Persona. That's that's really cool too. So if this is your first video, please consider liking, disliking, commenting, subscribing to me to follow me on Twitch. Uh, we're at 54 subs on YouTube. We were at 55, but then it was either, I don't know, we're back down to 54. So uh, I'd really like to keep getting those numbers up. So if you're watching and you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing to me. And let's uh, get started, shall we? Excuse me, sorry. Just had breakfast a little while ago. But yeah, the brain fog. I guess I could show you. It's like written down in like weird notation that is just like intelligible only by me, you know. But I went down, meticulously wrote down like who I would have, like at what level, what skills they learn. Pretty neat, pretty neat. I look forward to... uh testing this out but uh let's get started but yeah i didn't play uh prismatic industries today i don't know i'm not it's like a, i feel like i'm just playing it to the void i'm like the band in titanic it's like well nobody listens to us anyway so like what's the you know except for them they just did it anyways because they had nothing better to do uh oh it would uh, be really helpful if i plugged in my headphones with me. be j just a little helpful if I plug in these headphones. Oh wait, I think I'm out of the TV world, aren't I? Oh darn. Oh no, I'm still here, sweet. Okay, so... Give me a second here. I know you can see my... Let me close that, just on the off chance that... Don't want to dox any of my Steam friends, who are also IRL friends. So let's see who I've collected and who I haven't. I for sure need to craft an Omoe Kane and... So... I do have Upsaris. I do have a Moikane. So what I need to do is get my Upsaris up to... I mean, it's not super important, but I was gonna... Like, make Omoikane like a debuffer, like Sakunda, Tarunda, Rakunda, but like... For regular fights, that's not that important, and I wouldn't bring him out during a boss fight because his stats will get me killed. 
but he is required for a lot of stuff later. I need to get him to level. Let him write down level twelve, because he learns resist wind and resist electric, which are really valuable, and you can pass those on to other personas. I do have not to Taishi, that's cool. I don't have to craft one. Uh, Ukobok and Slime both have pretty valuable things on them. Slime learns um, resist physical. And it'd probably be faster to, um, to have room for one more. Yeah, there are lots of dudes that I'm going to have to, like, re-craft, which is kind of annoying. So, he's first on my list. I don't have Fornius, I didn't see him, so... Let me double check. So, Apsaris and Ukobok, but I should get, like, lots of things, lots of things. So, yeah, I don't have Fornius. So I'm going to need him later on for a couple of fusions. So, I could bring one more person, so let me pull out Slime, I guess. I don't really want to go back there. But yeah, basically, you know, I'm just going to kind of turn my brain off a little and just like mindlessly grind. Like if we're lucky, we'll get lots of those cards that, uh... Oh my god, I can't see him. Hurry it up, man. Didn't see him in the corner there. Like, it'll be super easy to level slime first, but he gets resist physical, which is like. Getting resists this early on personas is like crazy. But they did nerf a lot about like other personas as well, so. Like, Cert can't pass Ragnarok on anymore. Odin is the one who learns Pantarai instead of... Uh, Norn. Thor's the one that gets, um... Thunder Rain, like... Thunder spells and ice spells don't freeze anymore, so, like... In order to compensate for that, I think that's why all the physical moves just have high crit on them baseline, is because no, you can't use status effects to increase your crit naturally anymore. Just lots of little things that changed from 3. Like, 3 had more of a, like, kind of like a robust system to me. Like, they took out so much from this one.
Yeah, it's gonna be main. It's not gonna be very exciting. I'll just be the first one to tell you that. Like my lack of energy today, and the fact that I just have to grind all this shit out. Like I was debating on whether or not I should just do this off camera, but. I need to grow my brand, man. Like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. Yeah, as you can see, your persona strength is your strength, so you gotta watch out for that shit. He gets like what red wall and I forget when he gets resist physical it's like level seven or something. Oh my god, I was waiting for you to turn around, but you're gonna take your sweet ass time. I smell two enemies. Beat them up. Hang in there! Like, it's crazy to me that, like, we can't just, like, one-shot these clowns. Like, I can't take these dudes into... ...more advanced levels, like, my personas, I mean, because... ...we would just get steamrolled. Like, if I'm not going first, then it's always, uh... ...Kenji's... Kenji's equivalent, I forget his name. Uh, Yosuke. Yosuke is always going first if I'm not going first. And the only time I get to go first is if it's in a player advantage. And seeing as how I'm training dudes specifically, like... I don't know, it'd be, it sounds like it would be a lot to ask. It'd be a big ask to... Not only, you know, do I go first... But I have to have an ability that kills the dude easily. It's just not all the stars are aligning for that. You know, mayhaps I'll get lucky with uh, those Persona level up cards. That'd be nice. Would be nice. So how long does it take for him to get it? Fear boost. I didn't even like write down when he learns it. It's like really dumb that I didn't. At level 7, okay, so. Oh, that's gonna take a while, but what can you do? There are two enemies! Hang in there! Rawr! Go get them! You're only delaying the inevitable. And it's like, you only get shuffle time if... I mean, it's not only, but you have a higher chance of shuffle time if you do an all-out attack and shit. We're not really doing those.
You know, when I'm sharing a Moikane, at least I can use Zayo to take down some of these dudes that are weak to it, but... to be careful because I don't want like them to charge me more money because their stats are increased whenever I register these guys. Methinks I should uh, go for money more so than anything else. Money or a persona level up card. Once we get resist physical, we'll be able to move that to like anybody. Hopefully, we can move it to anybody. It's just a regular ass skill, so I figured we would be able to. Two enemies. You can attack before them. All right, indeed. It's like so many of like the way, way, way late game personas or I don't know. Once you make Alice, for example, which still is a long ways away, she's like level 72 now. You don't really need like another Mudo persona because she's the best one. There are lots of dudes that just take like way too much effort to craft for how little they give you. Or there are, like, some enemies that, like... They have really high attack, but they can't inherit attack skills, and they come with, like, spells and crap. Two enemies. Hang in there. Hang in there. Just some of them don't make sense, and they're not very good. Did you say something? Okay. Honey, physical mirror, that's nice. But you can transfer skills. Wait, what were transfer skills about? What? Sorry, I know that you're like three minutes behind what I was saying. Oh, right, yeah, you can you can transfer skills, but some of like sometimes it's like really tedious to. Um, I know what you're talking about. Um, like, depending on, like, what it requires to, like, make the thing in the first place, it's just, like, really tedious. Like, I made sure to write down, like, who I thought was really good. Three enemies, but they're too slow. But, like, there are lots of, like, late-game dudes who are just, like, they don't seem like they're that good to me. But, no, for sure, you can transfer skills over to them, like... All right, so this guy has resist physical and one more level. And sometimes you have to get really creative. Like, uh, I plan on making, who was it? They're not on my list currently because they're way at the bottom. That's like something that I'm gonna be worrying about like way later. Right up.
Oh, come on. Like, hurry it up, man. You're gonna pay, damn it. Not my attack, though. Hang in there. But, like, yeah, there are a couple, like, way, way, like, way, way, way later that are, like, really good, and some that are, like, whatever. But that's how it was in P3. Like, I didn't craft every single persona. Okay, I hear death, which makes me nervous. Like, I know that you guys say he's only in chess, but, like, even just hearing him elicits a response from me. But I need to get Slime to level 7 so that I can have resist physical on him. And then I'll register him and have just a dude in my pocket to transfer that over to. Persona strength up. I mean, I guess. I'm not really using him like that. But I guess it's something. I guess I could have got the skill card. I still have a crap load of those I need to deliver to, uh, Marie, or Marie. I smell one enemy! You can do it! Here goes! Persona! Like, once we get to the point where we can make Baphomet, like, making any other death-related Persona is just, like, whatever. Outside of, um, Alice, who just has the best one. The best death kill, the death skill, I mean. Demon stat. Oh, I already got that. But like, Baphomet's gonna be like our main Mudo dude until we get Alice. What's their resistance like? Cool. Alice, I think she's only weak to what light and I can put resist light on her if I wanted As a matter of fact, I think My Baphomet will have resist light on him. I think but um, I guess we could check Like let me see name She's only weak to light. And like Nib and you need Nib like Belial and Nebidos. And like so I have her like way down here on my list. Let me pull this over here. I like painstakingly like made this persona. It took me two days to make this list. Two days. But I have a whole list of dudes who I plan on making depending on what level we reach. But I can't make her till like 70 something and like towards the end it's like okay I wrote down dude like okay like on Goku this dude has like you take half damage from everything but you can't dodge like that's a pretty decent skill. That used to be an item from Adilat back in the day. But Alice is 72 and so like um, Belial I am going to make him out of Jataya, Queen Mab and Balfagor. And so I also need to craft Nebidos right so... What I could do is look up a way to craft Nebidos that uh, gives some resist light. But she also has Endure Light. She gets Megidola. What about Strong again? She repels darkness. Like, I don't need her to be tanky. I just need her to kill stuff. Like, that's all her main function is. Like, she's not my main persona. Like... I'm going to be constantly switching out, but she's only weak to light and repels darkness. But like, so like Nebidos, if I wanted to, I could probably pass a whole bunch of resistances onto him, I guess. But like, that's a lot of work for like, I'm not playing on very hard, so I don't know if it's going to be like, I need to be that sweaty about it. But I have to craft Nebidos. 
And so, like, I could meticulously go through and, like, he learns Null Light. So I could level him up until he gets Null Light and pass it on to Alice, along with Spellmaster. So... But that's way, way, way down the line. Did he learn resist physical yet? Yes, he did. Very good, very good. And now I need to get Omoikani up to 12 so he learns resist wind and resist electric. And then I'm going to register him. And he'll be able to pass those on to some personas that I craft later. Two enemy shadows. You get to go first. Hang tight and go for it. All right, let's keep going. Like I'm mainly using her for die for me. Like that's her main reason why she exists. And she has really powerful magics, and like she can learn Megidola, so there's that too, but like... Three enemies, but they're too slow! Go, go! Huh? It's over already? Like, level 72, like, that seems like that's a long time away from here, so... We get Baphomet at 47, and he's pretty good at what he does. White Rider, who's also another Death Arcana dude. He also has pretty decent skills just for the instant kill moves. But I don't plan on making him unless I have to. Like, if I wanted to make Lucifer, I would have to make him, because you need to like combine a lot of Devil and Death Arcana with each other. Two enemy shadows! You get to go first! Any of you weak to Zayo? I don't think you are. Hang in there. Do those skills scale in the game, the Megiddo skills? Like, they scale with your magic, your magic attack. Like, the higher your magic stat, the more damage they deal. That was cool, Yosuke. That's my true strength. But, like, Megiddo is, like, um... 220 uh, true damage, I think. Uh, hmm. Shit, I don't know what's more valuable to me. I don't know, I guess it'd be great. Five, five SP is not a lot in the grand scheme of things. Um, like, Megiddo's, like, 220 true damage. It used to be true damage. It can be, like, resisted, like, by increase. It's not really true damage, and it's non-elemental damage. They can be, uh, resisted now. And if you have a lot of endurance, you take less damage. But, um, it's, like, Megiddo's, like, 220. Megidola is, like, a... I mean, I have the list right here. I don't know why I'm just trying to... Uh-oh. Well, it's fine. Just go ahead and do rush. I don't care. Hang in there. So, control F, Mickey, do. Not Medigo, Megiddo. Megiddo. So, Megiddo does 240. Megiddo does 360. And Megiddo Lown is 420. So... Those, they scale in that regard, but like, do you mean, do they scale with your damage? Yes. Like, the higher your, your magic, the more damage you'll deal with spells. Like, you see, like, Megiddo Lown there does, like, 420. Morning Star, which is the unique spell that only Hillel can learn, only does 440, and it costs like 12 extra mana or something just to do 20 more damage. Like, 
I don't know. They hella nerfed Hillel. Like, I was really sad. Like, they really massacred my boy.